Hello everyone. First I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and I hope you all have a good time. Regardless where you are, what you are doing, I really wish you all a very happy time with your friends, with your family. And yeah, I'm starting. I use the um, rectangular mode from Modes and Shapes and I want to make a bowl. And I'm using the Manila um, resin ink from Stephanie Etta. I'm using the Ultracast resin from Stephanie Etta. And I'm mixing my colors. So first was the Manila. Second one is the Angel White pigment paste. I mix this very thin. It's very transparent. Yeah, and I'm stirring it really well so you don't have any white traces. Um, sometimes you have these traces um, when you are not mixing quite good. And I'm using my favorite Super Shift color. It's a Molotov. <clears throat> and at the moment, I, I, I just adore it. And you can combine it with so many colors. So I thought I'd go with this um, nice green from... Um, Etta Art, you know, the resin ink and combine it with the Manila, no, with the Molotov um, Super Shift color. So this is now my green mix and I'm just pouring along the edges. By the way, the rectangular mode is from Modes and Shapes. I link them into my description box and they will have a sale on the 7th and 8th of January, so stay tuned for it. I guess it, it's well worth it. So I link them into my description box, as I said, and just have a look. Yeah, I ran out of my, my green color, so I had to mix a little bit more. And then it's always tricky to um, achieve the um, same shade, but I think um, it worked quite well. So now I'm taking the Molotov and I'm pouring on top of my green. And look, I think those colors are really awesome with each other. They really, um, they are in the same shade and the same group. And I love it. I really love it. And now I'm taking my clear resin and I'm just pushing out my colors and filling up my mold. The resin I mixed in a warm water bath because it's um, winter over here. So um, to avoid too many bubbles, even though I have still some bubbles, I mixed it in a water bath, let it rest in the water bath for five minutes. Let it rest again outside the water bath for 15 minutes and started mixing my colors. So I'm just getting rid of the bubbles that are trapped on the bottom of the mold. Always be careful doing this, that you are not scratching your mold because yeah, you, you have the trace on your piece once you scratch your mold and it would be a pity. Now I'm taking my white mix and you can see it's very transparent because I don't want you to see the white. I just want the white to help um, the Manila, no, not the Manila green and also the Molotov to, to drag into the center. So that's why I'm using it. And now I'm also mixing a little bit more because I have resin left and I'm mixing the Molotov a little bit and I'm also making sure I mix um, the white. And the white is going to be more opaque, but you see it in a second. So here I just put a little bit of the Molotov in there. You didn't see how much I put in there, just, just a tiny bit. So I can just go around again. 
because you the more resin you have at your edge <coughs> i'm sorry i still have problems with um, cold i don't know my cold really doesn't come out and it stays inside so sometimes i have to cough i'm really sorry but anyway um, the more resin you have colored resin at your edges the more can also drag into the center and you have a good chance that your center will be closed which is the target for me so now i mixed my white and i also added a little bit of the um, interference gold from laura's art corner into my white anyway i link for i link laura's art corner also into my description box there's also a promo code just check it out now again the torch And then I'm using my resin ink again, the same color as I used before. And I'm making my dots. And I want to make the mm, magical flowers like Sandra Rettig does it. So this is actually inspired also this part by Sandra. So now I'm taking my mix into the piping bag and there you see it. And I'm snipping my top. And then I'm going in spirals for each dot of the green. There you see it. Just in spirals, very easy. And I wonder if it will work because um, it's only the second time I tried this technique and now it's a bigger um, mold and three of them so I'm very curious about it but I love the color combination it's uh, it's very natural very beautiful looking I think and now I'm just um, designing a little bit outside so the flowers are a little bit combined and I still have enough resin left to make a second round for each of the three magical flowers or magic flowers. Now I'm taking my dotting tool and I'm emphasizing my petals. And I'm doing this for all. And I'm sorry, I just see. I didn't use the dotting tool. I actually used the toothpick. But please be careful using the toothpick because you can easily stretch your mold. I think I did it because um, it was thinner. So, yeah. Because the flowers are very small and I thought it might be better using the toothpick. I'm a little bit confused today, I don't know why, but this pour is already a couple of days ago, so you really have to think, what did I do? <laughs> now I'm taking um, champagne glass bits. I'm taking my glove off and I'm just trying to get the center of each flower. It's not so easy. So only a few. I put some on my table some of the glass bits and I'm just picking a few every time. Yeah, and I'm only doing this because I'm not touching the resin. Now I'm putting my glove on again because I want to make a swirl in the centers of each flower, just a little one. the last one 
quick torch again with my little torch. And you can already see at the sides the resin is starting to drag into the center. But I also made a little time lapse so you can see what the resin does. And I was actually surprised you will see it in a second. So now the time lapse is coming and you can see how the flowers are shrinking. Can you see it? It's amazing. I was really worried about my flowers. I thought, where are they going? They're just vanishing. Well, this is the next day. And you see it really closed up very well. And let's have a look how it's looking. Look how my flowers are looking. They're looking like flower explosions, but I love the effect. Look at that and the shimmer. And now I'm taking a foil and then I'm placing some of the jars from the mica there. And there I need to tell you, I think my tray was or was still too bendy because it didn't take um didn't keep its shape like I wanted um to have it. I'm looking for shapes or jars to put underneath the foil and to build my my yeah my bowl design, but I really think it was still too bendy. So I guess I have to make another one, but you will see it at the end result. But I love the effect. I love the effect in the center and I love the color. I really, I really think it's a very beautiful color combination. So I think I will be doing this again, also with the same colors, if you don't mind, guys. But I will wait a little bit longer so I can shape my flower or my bowl a little bit differently. Maybe in the same way, but because the resin was still too soft, it just didn't keep what I wanted to achieve. But anyway, I love and leave you with the end result. And yeah, I still hope you like this video. You learned with my little mistake. I still think it's beautiful from the effects, but there you go. I... Like I said, I'm going to leave you and I wish you all a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. But I am sure we still hear from each other um, before the New Year's. Thanks for, for watching and take care, guys. Bye bye.